In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the date value function here in Google Sheets. So this function converts a provided date string in a known format into a date value. So let's try and figure out the date value for this date right here with this function. Start with your equal sign, type in date value, or you can select it right here. So that's how simple our syntax is. Just type in the date value, then select your date string. Now you can also hard code this by just entering the date right there. Or you can do a cell reference by just selecting your cell. If we press enter, there we have it. So we have the date value for this date as 45568. So let's try and drag this down with our other dates right here. There we go. And now you'll see that we have encountered a value error because this one right here is not formatted as a date. If I click on it, it doesn't show me the calendar. Like if I do right here, a valid format for a date and this one is not. So you will encounter some of these errors right here. Now all you have to do would be to correct the format of that date like so. And there we have it. So here are the codes or here are the date values. Now they don't seem much right now, but if you do encounter them in the future, like if I copy this and paste the values right here, there you have it. So if I try and format this into a date format, if we go to format right here, select date, there you have it. We have converted those date values into dates. If you double click, it's an actual date. Now I've used this formula in another video called build your own dynamic calendar here in Google Sheets. Do check that out. I will be leaving a card at the top right corner of this video. Now in my example data set right here, what I want to do is to sort this dates in ascending order where I want the latest ones at the top. So let's select this range, go to data right here and sort range. Let's do that by Z to A or again, descending order. There you have it. So you'll see that some of these dates are not in order. So let's try and figure out what's wrong with the use of the date value function. So let's insert a column right here. There we go. Start our formula, date value, select that string and press enter. And if we accept our autofill right here, there you have it. With the use of our date value function, we figure out that these dates right here are not actual dates. So if you try and check out the date, this one says June 31st. There's not really a 31st for June. If we change that to 30, there you have it. It gives us the corresponding date value for that date. And for this one as well, it's the same thing. There is no September 31st. September would be only up to the 30th. So again, if we try and sort that out, now we have the correct order of our dates by submission and we figured out what was wrong with the use of our date value function. And there you have it. That was one simple example on how to use the date value function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.